chapter 5 consumer and industrial chemistry now we go to 5.4 medicines and cosmetics what are medicines chemicals that use to help with the treatment or prevention disease so we have two classes of medicines the first one is traditional medicines and the second one is modern medicines now we go to the first one, traditional medicines first. Uh, origin from herbal plants or animals, not chemically processed, usually prepared by crushing, boils, to get the essence and used by consumers or rubbing on the sore limb. Today's traditional medicines also processed in a form of pills and capsules. Now we go to the first one of the tra traditional medicine. This one is common one. You should know what is this. This is ginger, halia, to remove wind or gas from the body, prevents cold, cold sesame, help to warm the body. Dia agak panas ya. The second one, one we have aloe vera to treat the, sea, the skin disease, treat wounds caused by the burns. Okay. Now here the Chinese, uh, common Chinese uh, medicines, which is the ginseng. Build immunity against infections, uh, treatment for lower blood pressure and cholesterol level. Uh, here is the tamarind. Uh, this is the original fruits of tamarind, but the one you have in, in the kitchen is the one that has been processed. I like the adabi one in the, in the cup. Tamarind juice of the fruit relieve cough and brighten the skin. Oh, you could. Brighten the skin, I think apply it to the skin as a scrub maybe. Okay. Now we go to modern medicines. Come from the plants, microorganisms, synthetic chemicals. Available in various forms which is pills, capsules, powder and liquid. What is the difference between pills and capsules? Pills, the powder has been compressed and become the pills. The capsules, it have... Um, the sarung, the container, the small container, the plastic container made from the, I think, from the, some sort of tepung gandum, maybe sort of tepung lah. Then we put the powder, the modern medicine in powder form into the capsule and, uh, and attach the left side and the right side and it become capsules. Sometimes it have color, blue, colorless and sometimes it just colorless, okay. So, modern, medic modern medicines, we have uh, five classes, which is analgesics, antimicrobials, psychotic drugs, anti-allergies, and corticosteroids. So, you have to know those five modern medicines classes. Okay. Now, we go to the first one, which is analgesics. So, this is some examples. So, this one is quite common right you for more panadol cough syrup as example we have for analgesic is aspirin paracetamol both of them are paracetamol then we have codeine codeine for cough syrup function the aspirin and paracetamol relieve pain in conscious state okay codeine relieve pain alleviates cough and treats diarrhea diarrhea is a cherry berry Use and side effect should be taken according to doctor's prescription. Aspirin is acidic and it is not suitable for gastric patient or children because it causes stomach ulcer. So overdose of paracetamol uh, uh, can cause liver damage. Okay, codeine can cause drowsiness. Drowsiness is la rasa yang hayang lah. Okay. The second one, we have antimicrobials. We have antibiotics. Example, penicillin, streptomycin. You should try to pronounce it, okay? Penicillin, streptomycin. Antiseptic, we have hydrogen peroxide, iodine, and boric acid. Disinfectants, we have alcohol, formaldehyde. Okay, function. Function of antibiotics, to kill or to retard the bacterial growth. Antiseptic applied in externally on the skin. Disinfectants destroy pathogen found on non-living object. For example, we have a flour drainage system. Okay. Use and side effect. The antibiotics need to be fully consumed. So all the bacteria are killed. 
or the bacteria will become immune and the disease, disease will reoccur. Antiseptics need to be applied externally. Allergies can be fatal. So we have an allergic alert card that will be given to alert others if a person have penicillin allergy. Okay, this is an example of antiseptics, the one you put in the spray bottle and rub uh, on the surface. Boric acid is also antiseptic, hydrogen peroxide, it produces oxygen. And uh, both uh, bottles is disinfectants, formaldehyde. Uh, the one to preserve the, uh, the birds that die, okay, bangka uh, bangka binata, we also use formaldehyde. Also for the human beings, yeah, formaldehyde to preserve um, organ. Untuk kajian sains lah. Ethanol hand sanitizer 80%. Also disinfectant. The ethanol itself. Okay. Antibiotics we have here. Streptomycin and penicillin. Penicillin we got in a cream a version also in penicillin. This one penicillin for consume. Okay. Now we go to psychotic drugs. Example we have haloperidol, chlorpromazine and clozapine. Function to treat for psychosis. What is psychosis? It is a symptom of mental illness. Here are some types of psychosis, psychotic disorder. The psychosis, okay? We have schizophrenia, schizoaffective schizo disorder, schizophreniform disorder, delusional disorder, brief psychotic disorder, substance induced psychotic disorder, bipolar disorder. Tahu uh, bipolar, dia ada dua sifat Postpartum psychosis This one, kalau orang Melayu sebut Merayan lah, ataupun Sakit selepas bersalin ya. Severe depression and psychosis Suicide, this one is very bad Uses and side effect Taken with doctor's prescription Can cause abnormal involuntary Facial and body movement Okay Yang tidak dapat dikawal lah pergerakan tangan Tiba-tiba rasa nak tumbuk orang Padahal bukan dia pun ha, okay. Can cause stiffness and shakes Megigil This is drugs okay? Anti-allergies Anti-histamines Example Anti-histamines For example we have citrizine This one saya pernah ambil lah Sebab kalau kata gatal lah ambil yang ni Apa Bersin pagi-pagi kan Citrizine Anak saya pernah ambil Next, So next allergies This one kena pump into the nose trill okay pernah tengok orang pakai tapi saya tak pakai function to relieve runny nose and itchiness itchiness pada mata hidung muka pipi ah itu dia allergic lah use and side effect taken with doctor's prescription can cause drowsiness can also cause dry mouth so the dry mouth we call it as xerostomia blood, blood vision and constipation if taken in high dose susah nak berak okay Corticosteroid. Kalau bahasa biasa kita sebenarnya steroid ialah. Corticosteroid ialah istilah scientific dia. Example, we have beta metasone valerate. I think this one. Oh, this one, the cream one. It it may in cream version or liquid version yeah, or pill version. Or prednisolone. Prednisolone, this one is for, I think, for kids. Because in liquid form. It's for adult. Uh, it should be in pills form. The function, to provide relief to the inflamed area. Reduce swelling, redness, itchiness, allergic reaction, asthma and arthritis. Arthritis, um, sakit sendi ya. Eh? Sakit sendi bagi orang tua. Asthma ni, sampai ada asthma ni, antara ubat-ubat yang biasa jugalah. Use and side effect should be taken according to doctor, doctor's prescription. Long term intake can cause moon phase. Wow, face swelling, high blood pressure and increased blood sugar level. Oh, blood sugar level. Okay. Effectiveness and drug abuse or misuse, the efficacy level of modern and traditional medicines may differ. Modern medicines have undergone clinical trials before usage, but some traditional medicine do not have any data to authenticate it, to authenticate their effectiveness. Lack of observable data makes it hard to determine the correct dosage. Wrong dosage will lead to drug abuse. Antibiotics. The medicine is antibiotics. So, effect of abuse resistant to antibiotics. So, uh, taking more antibiotics doesn't affect the, the bacteria. Okay. Herbal-based traditional medicine. The effect of abuse is uh, your liver, our liver, our kidney will be failed. 
codeine will affect addi addiction. Okay, we have an act in Malaysia called Traditional Medicine and Complementary Act in 2016. This act is formed to ensure that the traditional treatments administered, administered meet the criteria set by the government to ensure the traditional medicines and treatments are safe and possess quality. Okay, and to traditional medicine only. And we have the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency, NPRA, a body responsible for the supervision of drug safety and quality control of cosmetics in Malaysia. Oh, now we go to cosmetics. Second part of this subtopic. What is cosmetic? Cosmetics are materials or products that use externally to cleanse, to protect, to enhance one's appearance. Pertambah cantik. Ah, begitulah. Basic ingredients for cosmetic are normally, normally derived from a combination of substances such as water, emulsifiers, thickness, dyes, moisturizers, and preservatives. Here's some basic cosmetic ingredients. I have two slides. Okay, this is the first slide for basic cosmetic ingredients. We have dye. Dye give color to cosmetic and make them more attractive. Example, we have iron tree oxide. Can you guess what is the color? Iron tree, of course, like brown, brown color. Okay. Water, solvent in cosmetic production process. Emulsifier, to form homogeneous mixture between oil and water. Emulsifier is important where the oil and water can combine together using emulsifier. Example, we have lecithin and stearic acid. Thickener, thicken the cosmetic product. Macam cream kan, kita nak thicken lebih mudah nak apply. So, we put thickener. Example, we have glycerin and santan, santan gum. Okay, the next three. Fragrances give pleasant smell to cosmetic product. Example, essential oil. Kalau orang sekarang suka sebut EO, EO. Actually, EO is stand for essential oil. Moisturizers retain the moisture in the cosmetic products. Example, we have glycerin. Glycerin is the most common things in the moisturizers, okay? And sodium lactate. Preservative, prevent cosmetic from spoiling. Tahan biasanya bila buka, tahan satu tahun. Kalau um, kalau you tengok cream kat belakang, dia ada gambar container uh, tutup terbuka. And dia tulis 12M. That's the meaning of 12 months. Uh, li, uh, apa, life life uh, of that product after you open it. Okay, biasa setahun. Example, we have paraben and formaldehyde. Okay, we have three types of cosmetics. Okay, the first one is makeup cosmetics. To beautify the face, we have facial powders. Sometimes you call it as compact powders. The latest we have the things that in cream, uh, I cannot remember what is the name. Uh, but the function quite same with facial powders, okay? Lipsticks, eyeshadows, eyeliners, and mascara. Apa tu eyeliners? Apa tu eyeshadow? Apa tu? Uh, ada yang tak tahu, okay? Uh, tanyalah kan kawan, ada gambar dekat sini. Okay, treatment cosmetics to treat the body. We have creams here. Skin moisturizer, Lane Each is one of example of skin moisturizer. This one, pakai malam. So, pagi dia akan very moist lah. And facial mask. Saya tak ingat ni brand apa. Tapi saya suka sebab cover dia cantik. Facial mask. Fragrance. Okay. To provide fragrance, deodorant yang selalu you pakai. And perfumes. Rosan. Ah, saya ada yang ni. Keluaran Tasnim. Kawan saya yang buat. Okay. Saja promote. Usage of cosmetics in everyday life. Okay. Advantage of homemade cosmetic. Um... Oh, ada homemade cosmetic. Easy to produce using natural ingredients. Macam, kita nak muka kita lebih shining, lebih putih. Putih lah kot. Kau bubur lah turmeric kat muka kan. Tepik-tepik jadi kuning. Orang India suka tu. Dia cerahkan sikit lah muka kot agaknya lah. Tapi sebenarnya turmeric pun bagus. Dia bunuh bakteria sebenarnya. Turmeric. Turmeric is what lah? Turmeric is the yellow color substance. It's not halia. Allah lupa. Kunyit. Yes, kunyit. Safe and free from harmful chemicals, low cost. Yes, this advantage of commercial cosmetic. Oh, this advantage. Harmful side effects, 
harmful chemicals that are illegally added. Sometimes it contain lead. Lead ialah logam berat yang efek kepada kulit kita. Uh, saya tak ingat satu lagi. Ada uh, mercury. Yes, mercury membakar. Mercury dalam tempat itu kau boleh bubuh kat muka. Astagfirullahaladzim. Hati-hati ya. Eh. Excessive claims and misleading advertisement. Okay, ini pun bahaya. Percaya je. Siasat dan stroke tolong berhati-hati. Okay, side effect of harmful chemical in cosmetic product. Ya, ada sebut pun. Mercury, hydroquinone, beta-methasone valerate and tretinoin. Okay, kita tengok side effect dia. The first one, mercury. Skin irritation and damage to kidney and nervous system if absorbed into the bloodstream. Memang buka muka but it absorbed by the by the blood uh, vessels and goes into the uh, the kidney and goes into the bloodstream. Okay. Hydroquinone, hypersensitive skin and exposure to harmful UV rays caused by the reduce of pigmentation. Okay, dia akan menyebabkan bitu-bitu hitam. Okay. Betamethasone valerate, skin irritation and changes to skin pigmentation. Biasanya ha, ni dua ni untuk orang yang nak putih-putihkan muka. Okay. Tretinoin, redness and peeling skin. Ha, ni pun sama nak putih muka, baby face lah apa semua. Eh. Okay. So the first three usually aided illegally into whitening creams and other cosmetic products here. Uh, last one is acne cream. Oh. Untuk acne ni ada bahan kimia dia yang sesuai sebenarnya. Kalau dalam krim-krim jerawat tu cuba you tengok eh. Dia punya nama saya tak ingat lah. Okay, that is the end of part 4 which is 5.4 medicines and cosmetics. Thank you.